Hi there folks, it's Mike here and welcome to our next lesson in the C++ series. In this lesson, I want to talk about something known as const. And you might have heard this term or maybe you've used it in different languages, but I want to go ahead and show you one of the many uses of const in this lesson. So let's go ahead and dive in here. So as always, you can check out const on the CPP reference site to get a little bit of a reading about what it is. But I think it'll be useful if we just go ahead and see an example here that I'll create from scratch, just demonstrating const here. So what we're going to want to do is just, again, give ourselves a little workspace here. So I have our main function, IO stream, so we can print out things to our standard output uh, below and we compile our programs. So last time, or previously, I should say, we learned about primitive variables, things like having a variable like x here. And we learned about the different data types that we can have, floats, booleans, and other types that we can import that are non-primitive, like string where we have to, again, include the string library. So what is interesting about variables in a programming language like C++ that, again, if you're coming from a math background, it might be weird, is you create a variable and initialize it to some value, like 7 here. And let's just go ahead and print out that value here. And let's go ahead and, again, just compile this program, making small changes, making sure that it works. And it works and it runs here. But what's again weird here is I can change this value or reassign it to say that x equals 3. So again, it's a little bit weird here. Again, if you're thinking about things strictly in a mathematical um, sort of mindset where you just say x equals 7, and then you later decide x equals 3. Well, again, when we're doing assignment in programming, we're really saying, hey, the thing on the left side store this value from the thing on the right side into wherever x is in memory. And we'll talk a little bit about memory so we have a more intuitive understanding about this. But for now, we can just sort of define what x is and you know reassign it a different value. And the term that we often give to this is we say that x is a mutable variable. That means it can mutate or change its state. Sometimes it can hold 7, it can hold 3, it can change throughout the duration of your program. Now, sometimes we don't want this because it can cause programmer error because you say, hey, I was expecting this to equal 7 or it would be in some consistent state. So allow me to strengthen this example a little bit and give us some floating point variable, something like pi, which would be 3.141526 and I don't know the rest of the digits. <laughs> but it would be weird if I later defined pi as just 3 or maybe something totally wrong like negative 42. So if I run this program, um, and a uh, little mistake here. Let me just rename all these variables here. But if I run this program here, so I recompile it, resave it, and run it, again, we get the proper output here, but negative 42, we clearly know that is wrong, at least from you know what our intuition says or what we expect here. So what C++ gives us, again, is this keyword const here. And it's in all lowercase, and it makes values immutable, so non-mutatable or non-changeable. So let's go ahead and see this in action here, because if I create this variable here, because I want to be able to refer to just pi multiple places without having to type out, you know, 3.141526, uh, etc., etc., then I should get some sort of warning or error from the compiler. In fact, const is strong enough, we should get a compiler error here. So I'm going to try to compile this, and immediately you're going to say uh, this error here, error assignment of read-only variable pi. So again, you can think of const as making something immutable or non-changeable or a read-only value, if that's a little bit more intuitive. That means we can read it, but we can't write or reassign a new value anywhere in our program. So I'll go ahead and just comment this out and rebuild our program and rerun it here so you can see we get our sort of expected result. Now perhaps there's something a little bit weird if you look at this closely you can see it's sort of truncated or started rounding this because we only have so much precision with our float but besides that point you get the idea that const makes things non-changeable. Now some things I will say about const in C++. There are ways to sort of cast or change or get rid of const if you really wanted to. So you could make this a value that could change later on. But that's typically 
pretty dangerous. In fact, I can't really think of many cases where you'd want to do that. So I'm just not going to show you how for now. And if you want to learn how, maybe comment below and we can talk about it. And the next idea, I just want to give a little bit of a teaser because this is something more important in C++ um, for modern implementations, is there's something known as const expr, where you can have some expression that can be modified, say, before the program runs. And if we can figure out that this value is always going to be, well, whatever 3 plus 6 plus 8 is, 17, then it'll actually evaluate this before your program runs and store that value here. Now, I need to give this a type here. So it knows a little bit more information. Say this is just going to be some integer here. Uh, but I want to just give a little bit of a teaser about what const expert is. So that's something that you can, maybe you've heard of or seen it or whatever in C++. I'm going to just delete it for now because we want to just focus on one of the uses of const. Again, thinking about making things read only or immutable. All right, folks. So with that said, you've now learned about const. So when you see it in your code, you'll know exactly what it means. And you should be using const in your code when you want to protect or make your values read only. In fact, many different programming languages, languages like Swift, by default, make their variables immutable so you can't change them. Why is that not the case for C++? Well, it's a bit of a legacy thing because C++ grew from the C programming language. And maybe we can get into some of that history later. But Either way, we've got a tool to fix that problem and make our code a little bit more safer and express exactly how we want variables to be used. Either they can be modified or they can't. And now you know how with const. All right, folks, so hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next video.